Hello and welcome to Doc Plays Chemistry Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at the AQA A level chemistry course, and this is the A2 course, and we're going to be looking at what is in the exams. Before we go on then, just to remind you that Dr. Clay's A-Level Chemistry is up and running and you can come and join us for live webinars, uh, for revision sessions twice a week in the run-up to exams with lots of past papers and lots of revision material available. So come and join. Uh, we're starting from 3rd of April next week. If you want to check out the link for the website and any other useful courses just remember to click the cards in the top right hand corner there by the arrow and a reminder what we're going to look at in this session we're going to have a look at what is in the a level that is the year two exam and you should be able to know what's going to be assessed in all three papers by the end of this video so the key for these exams is you are going to be sitting three papers paper one paper two and paper three. Uh, paper one and paper two are slightly different and have got specific topics which we'll look at in a minute and paper three is purely synoptic that is it covers anything from the previous three two years of your course. We'll have a look at each paper in turn and see what uh, you can expect to come across in the exams. So Paper one, we will start and have a look at here. And this is generally inorganic in the paper one exam. And this paper has also got a small amount of physical exam material within it. So if we start off by just having a look at the, 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 how the paper is laid out, and then we'll look at the specific topics. As you see, it's going to be a completely written exam. It's going to be two hours, and it's a total of 105 marks, and is worth just over one third of your total A-level marks. It's split into uh, the inorganic and physical sections, and we can see here in the physical, you've got atomic structure. There'll be amount of substance section. Also, anything to do with bonding. And if we're talking about inorganic, I guess we're sort of looking at probably ionic and maybe metallic bonding, less so covalent. Energetics, uh, where we're looking at the rates, uh, the, sorry, the enthalpy changes. We've got Le Chatelier's principle and equilibrium, along with Kc. Oxidation and reduction and redox equations, well, that's fundamental in certainly all of the transition metal work that you look at and transition metal uh, redox titrations then we have the thermodynamics which is going to include things like our born harbor cycles uh, enthalpies of solution um, as well as Gibbs free energy we have the equilibrium constant or KP so that's gaseous systems where we've got homogeneous uh, systems that we looked earlier on this year we've then got electropotentials and electrochemical cells so things like battery technology and whether we can determine where the half cell reactions will go and then we've got acids and bases as well in this section which will cover things like buffer reactions and pH calculations. But in organic chemistry then uh, we have periodicity so we're looking there sort of at, at the period 3 and period 3 oxides. Group 2 the alkaline earth metals, the halogens so the reactivity of the halogens and the alkaline earth metals up and down the group and the solubility of the group two metals with hydroxide and also reactions with sulfates the properties of the period three elements and their oxides which we looked at quite recently transition metals complex ions uh, so on and so forth and finally the aqueous iron solutions from the a level course those which say A level next to them only are uh, you've met in the year 13 course or the year two part of the course. We, I have year 13s. Um, and those which don't have them will have been met in the first year, your year 12 course. Paper two then is similar in style to the paper one, but paper two is generally organic chemistry uh, with the relevant physical chemistry associated with it 
Um, again, it is a two-hour examine paper with 105 marks and is totaling just over a third of your paper marks, oh, a third of your A-level marks in total, around 35%. So the physical chemistry, as we see here, we've got amount of substance, so mole calculations, bonding, and seeing as we're in organic chemistry, we're probably really talking about intermolecular forces here and covalent substances rather than any ionic or metallic. We're looking at energetics. Uh, so perhaps here we're thinking about uh, bomb calorimetry, perhaps. Um, and how we can do Q equals MC delta T and bond enthalpy calculations. Uh, then we've got kinetics, so rates of reaction. We've got chemical equilibria, Le Chatelier's principle, and here we've got KC uh, from the year one AS course. And then from the year 13, the, the second year course, we've then also got the rate equations uh, from the A-level course. So a reasonably small amount of physical compared to the inorganic chemistry, but the organic half of the course is quite significant. So from the first year of your sort of your AS course, you've got the introduction to organic chemistry, so that's simple naming systems as well as isomerism. We've got the alkanes, the halo alkanes, the alkenes, the alcohols, and organic analysis. So organic analysis that you met in uh, the year one part of the course was things like infrared spectroscopy and high resolution mass spectroscopy. Uh, then from the year two course uh, that you'll be looking at, you've then got moving on optical isomerism uh, that we observe in in organic substances. We've got the aldehydes and the ketones, so things like nucleophilic addition reactions, uh, the formation of carboxylic acids and, and their derivatives, and so how we make things like esters. Aromatic chemistry, so remember aromatic chemistry simply means things like benzene, so in this section we're talking about sort of electrophilic substitutions. Uh, we've got reactions of amines, nucleophilic substitution, uh, the polymers, that's addition as well as condensation, amino acids, proteins and DNA, organic synthesis so organic synthesis at the bottom here that really is a culmination of all of the previous reaction mechanisms and we'll have um, a, a webinar on that coming up in a couple of weeks the nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy and that is for both proton nmr and carbon 13 nmr and we've also got chromatography here at the bottom with one of your chromatographies being your required practicals so that's your paper two, a two hour exam. Um, so plenty to, to get your teeth into in that exam. Finally, paper three, and this is the one which we said uh, was synoptic. Um, and this is a slightly different exam. Again, it's two hours, um, but it's slightly fewer marks, only 90 marks, and it's worth 30% of your A-level. The key here is the types of questions that you are going to get. 30 marks are going to be awarded, not awarded, but will be of multiple choice. 20 marks are going to be testing across the specifications. So that, in essence, is something which is synoptic. It can be absolutely anything from the specification that they decide. We don't know what. And then 40 marks of questions on practical techniques. So here, you're really going to need to be aware of your required practicals. If you're not sure what they are, check out in the corner here the cards, and they'll be linked to the required practicals. But also dealing with data, uh, perhaps drawing graphs, perhaps extracting information from graphs, so on and so forth. But that's quite key because this actually equates to about 12.5%, 12 12 to 13% of the actual total marks across the exam and they say that they, they will ask you 15% uh, practical questions so that is where a large proportion of your practical questions are going to come from in your A-level exam. I'm not going to go through all of the, the subject content because suffice to say it um, can come from any content that they 
so desire. If you join the website, uh, you'll find all of the, the topics broken down there. Um, and it's also written down on the side. Um, by the time you've actually sat this exam paper there, or you come to sitting it, you will have revised thoroughly all of these topics um, and be able to have a good go at across all of these subjects. So hopefully now you should be aware of what is going to be in your exams. Remember you've got three exam papers. Uh, one is going to be predominantly inorganic in style. Two is going to be organic. Uh, while three is going to be fully synoptic, but also fairly heavily uh, multiple choice, as well as practical skills. Remember, check out my website details by following the cards at the top here, as well as those practical skills YouTube videos that we've published before. Best of luck, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.